Let's look at an example of how to construct the power set of a set. So what is the power set? The power set of a set is the set of all the subsets of the set. So that sounds a little confusing, so let's do an example. Let's let S be a set. So S is a set and it's going to contain the elements A, B, and C. Okay, so there's our set S. So we want to construct the power set of S. To do so, we need to enumerate all of the possible subsets of S. And that's going to, when we group those together into a set, that's going to give us the power set. Okay, so how do we build a subset? We need to decide for each element if it's going to be in the subset or not in the subset. Okay, so one easy way um, to list all of the subsets and without uh, forgetting any um, potential subsets is to write binary vectors to represent membership in the subset. So let's see what that would look like. Um, I'm going to write a line here and now I'm going to start writing binary vectors. Okay, so the first one, 0, 0, 0. This is going to represent that A is not in the set, B is not in the set, and C is not in the set. Okay, so this gives us a subset that has nothing in it. Okay, so this is the empty set. Okay, or we could also write this, same thing. Okay, let's do the next one, 0, 0, 1. This says C is in the set. Okay, 0, 1, 0. This says B is in the set. 0, 1, 1. B and C are in the set. Okay, 1, 0, 0. A is in the set. 1, 0, 1. A and C are in the set. 1, 1, 0. A and B are in the set. 1, 1, 1. A, B, and C are in the set. Okay, so this gives us all of the um, possible subsets of S. So now when we combine these together, in one set we get the power set. So we're going to write 2 to the s, this is our notation for the power set, and it equals, and it's a set, whoops, a little, little too many squiggles there, um, but it's a set and it's going to contain all of those subsets. So it's going to contain the empty set, it's going to contain the set containing c, the set containing B, the set containing BC, the set containing A, set containing AC, the set containing AB, and lastly, the set containing the elements A, B, and C. And then this completes our power set.